Let, let us yeah, know about man. you. I do everything. You man. do I make everything. Art, you know what I'm saying? I make music. Okay. I produce. I engineer. Okay. I draw. You're an actor. Oh, yeah, I everything. mean, I act a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get into it more. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, what's yeah, up. Yeah. That's what's up. Right. Hot 16 right now. Off the Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he like, wait, bro. I, 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 I ain't going to throw you. Got to pay me for that. Hey, T money a go with a 16. I go one way. Oh, okay. You got ready, baby. Hey, shit. Well, start it off. I'll pick it up. Hey, one day we going to all just have like a rap battle. Cypher. Right, yeah, exactly. Freestyle. One day, but that day is not to this day. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? All right, but uh, so we're going to start it off with a new segment we got called Talk Your Shit. Talk That Shit, baby. Ooh. So today's Talk Your Shit is about drum roll. Tell him. Man, fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> that was I not just, a drum roll. <laughs> I got to just say, fuck Trump, man. Is y'all peeping what's going on in the media? Do, yeah. do y'all, is, y'all, is y'all woke you or is y'all asleep? I seen my tweet. I, I cussed him out. Did, you, <laughs> yeah, did, I'm did he respond? Scene. Of course not. C- come on, bro. You think he don't respond? <laughs> hey, he he, 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 he be responding to like random man. He talked to Kim. He talked to South Korean. You know what I'm saying? He talked to North. Oh, damn! Wow, North Korea. North Korea, bro. You know? what I mean? But hey, but um, Twitter fingers. Yeah, so he he's supposed to be building the wall for real. That's yeah. Is that that's not fake news? No, I was on CNN. Yeah. Eighteen billion dollars taxpayer, y'all money. So if y'all can't scam drug deal. <laughs> don't pay Do all for that. that. Uh, don't pay for that Do shit. That. Yeah, and he his tweeting game like this dude is ridiculous. What was that one thing you saw me? He tweeted. Yo, he oh, tweeted my, my man's bro. He he talking about like my. I'm gonna pull up the exact tweet. It was something like talking about North Korea, like like laughing I'm at. I'm gonna let dude. him do his tweet, and I'm gonna read the tweet. Where I he was, him out about. He was taunting him though, and it's just like my man's. You the president, bro. Right, like right. you're not you're not just in a position of power. You're not just you know what I'm right, saying. Like right. you're the actual. Uh-huh. 45th, number 45, right. Right. Agent Orange. You talking you about know? the button tweet? Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Man. And it's like, hey, it's just, Why you know, are you playing? Because he definitely though. will kill us. <laughs> he <laughs> said, <laughs> he said North, <laughs> North, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, whatever how you say that, <laughs> just stated that the nuclear button is on his desk at all times. Uh. Will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime, regime, my bad, please inform him that I, too, have a nuclear button? But it is a much bigger and more powerful one. Like that's than just childish. Like, right. yeah. that yeah. like Say that. Why would and my button anyone? works. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. But but that's like bro. That's they why send the building was on fire the other day. They sending them. Yeah. They sending test missiles over here anyway. Yeah. Like they they've yeah. been practicing. Like I'm sure that we can if we wanted to we can bomb the country to smithereens. But that's the point. Like why? Like why what's the it? point of even like getting into something like I that? I don't know. I think they might beat us, bro. Come on, we talking about Korea, China. And, like think about that. They like technology is way more advanced than I, ours. Not North Korea though. Not North Korea. Not North so? Korea. No, nah, not nah, North they, Korea. They've been like they actually hate us. Yeah. No, but uh, she no she talking about like the like technology. technology. But I'm saying they they hate us so much that they've been they've been on that for years. Yeah, yeah. That's like what I'm saying. about to I'm about to be ready for them niggas over yeah, there. Yeah, but no, maybe China China I'd be scared about. Like that's right. that's real. Facts. Like, yeah. Yeah. Facts. I feel like people hear China and North Korea and they think it's the same thing, but it really ain't. It's yeah, not. but but yeah, North Korea is not on that level. Mm-mm. I mean Y'all don't think so? I don't think no. so. I'm scared. I don't, I, don't, I'm I mean, scared. I don't want the, I don't want them to hear this. I mean, obviously they're gonna hear it, but I'm right. saying I'm not trying to like like Antagonize see what they about. Yeah. Right, right, right. Like, I don't right. want to find out that maybe they already nah. about the shit. Like with the shit, Yo, I'm not trying to. To call my man Tupac, out. man, he said they got money to feed the poor. I mean, they ain't got money to feed the poor, but they got money to fund yeah. the wars, man. Mm. Yeah, and that's just yeah. really that's fucked up. It is. It it's is. True. Cause I mean, just the fact that like like the spending for for like arms goes up and up and up. Right. And then, mm. Like they take they take fun and out of shit that actually like helps people. Like but, the kids in Baltimore, they got sixty mm-hmm. schools right now. Yeah, they don't heat. have heat. Yeah, but you talking about you want to build a wall for eighteen million dollars, bro? Come that's on, sick, you gotta take bro. care of your home. Period. Yeah. Like what you're what trying you to invade right everywhere now? else. Right. That's sick. And that's why low key all them countries over there is like advanced. Like they, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They yep. smart niggas in China go to school because they mind their own business. Yeah. That and they not yeah just pay ready. And you know what's uh funny like um. Like the fact that he cares so much about the NFL protests and all that, man. That's because it's all political white it's dudes. For him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With, you know they probably all in cahoots. They probably all colluded. Probably all got money ties. Yeah, mm-hmm. that that's was really what it went it on to. Yeah. Now we'll bring it to that other point you was talking to me earlier. Do protesting actually work? What if do you, you do mean? it yes. the right way? Okay, no, okay. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna say no Bob. I, 
<laughs> okay. Can I raise my hand? <laughs> uh, Ms. Turner, okay, go ahead. Okay, first of all, uh, I protested it before. Oh, I got uh, arrested, okay, several okay. times. Congratulations. You caught a case. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Almost got a case. Congratulations, number one. So let me tell you something. We got a real badass on the mic. Yeah, you do, okay? Okay. <laughs> one way. Talk, <laughs> talk your shit, T. <laughs> but anyways, this is my thing. First of all, if we are the highest consumers, if we actually stuck together, and the, the issue is that we don't ever stick together to try yeah. to break out stuff. It's always... One side is, oh no, fuck this, let's let's not do it. Can you? I can I answer me? Go. Please. So you say if we stick together, which we don't. So what is the point of protesting? Because we don't stick together. That's a known fact. Uh, so what do you get out of protesting? But imagine it. What did I get out of protesting? What do we as a people? What do oh, I? Okay. What do me look like? Let's say if you boycotted in Alabama. Shout right. out, shout out to MLK. You feel right. Me? But you know what I'm saying? That was then. This is now. You doing it? You protesting? But what did you do? You. But listen, you're saying so, okay, that. So, okay, boycott is different than, like. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, saying, yeah. we talking yeah. protest. All right, I, yeah, got, yeah. I got what right. you're saying. I rock with yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm for right. the people. That's right. me. Right. All the way. MLK, shout out to him. Right. You know, he was murdered, but, you know, he wasn't, you know, niggas. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, I'm talking about protest, like, you rocking around holding the signs. What is that song? So, this is my thing. Nothing. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. First Amendment. <laughs> Freedom of speech, period, right? Period, but yeah, you 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 can't really. I mean, see, when I protested, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not gonna get in trouble for this because the person already in trouble. We vandalized a police officer's car, so uh, wow, yeah, wow, it man. wasn't no. We not holding no signs. This ain't no kumbaya session, bro. This is a you killed somebody. Okay, so you actually broke the law. I, and that's wait. That's so fine. wait, what you protest for? Because <laughs> this is so bad. I cannot remember. She actually contradicted everything that. Right, you, I said you're supposed to. It's the right to. She don't remember what she protested. No, for. I do know what I protested for. I'm about to tell you right now. Man. There's uh, a guy. I just can't remember his okay. name right now. But there was a um, black male in North Carolina, and he was oh. actually handicapped. Okay. He was at the bus stop waiting for his um, daughter to get off of the bus, All and right. they killed him because they thought. He had a gun in his lap and he didn't. He couldn't it? get out fast enough because he was disabled. Right. So they shot him anyways because they were trying to go oh. raise somebody else's house in oh. the neighborhood. Oh. What was his so, name? I can't remember. Ah. But I got video. <laughs> I can show y'all no, video. I believe. I believe. But, so what, what What made you want to protest? Like, because what was the, they got off? Be, uh, well, not only that, but the guy actually stayed across the street from my old neighborhood. Right. So oh, it was so just kind of okay. like. How could you do this to this man? This man yeah. didn't do anything. And you kill him in front of his family. Like, no, his true. family was right there when this happened. And it's like, no, we're not going. For, I'm going to be right. real, excuse my language, but we're not going for that shit. Like, yeah. especially me. Like, I come Talk from parents. Your shit, T. My right. parents are Black Panthers. I'm right. going to keep it real with you. My stepfather right. is. So, I'm very. Terrence Shakur. Period. Like, <laughs> I'm not playing it. Like, you're not going to come it, and, it. and do any of that. Like, it's either I'm going to stay on my ground and that's it. Uh, yeah. So. Trayvon Martin. Period. So, 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 what made you want to protest? I guess is what I'm like. I, I get that part, but what, it, was, what because were you it hit to close to home. It hit yeah. close to home, so and, what, and what not only that, but on? because they were basically trying to say that they weren't going to charge the police officers that did it. Oh, wow. okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was just kind of like, what the fuck you so mean? I'm going to charge. Yeah. Period. 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 So it was like, oh, all right, of, yeah, you want to play? The justice system not serving no justice. Okay. So it was kind of like all our, you know, everybody got together. A couple people went to jail. The people that actually started the riot to vandalize the police officer <laughs> car he's definitely in jail at this moment okay you know? so right to real. peacefully assembly y'all didn't so, do so peacefully gotcha. but <laughs> shit, right. he didn't kill did he kill that man peacefully period, I talk, I, period. yeah and we i, I mean i'm, I'm, I'm with it, it. yeah my it's just thing is so y'all protested right what did it avail anything did you hear did about bring any justice to him I'm no a, no it didn't but i'm gonna tell you who was affected who guess um I don't know if you guys know what the Epic Center is in Charlotte, North Carolina, but the Epic Center is where Michael Jordan's hotel is located at in the Hornets Arena or I whatever. I never knew he even had a hotel. Yeah, he has the yeah, hotel. He has one of too. Yeah, he has a hotel in Charlotte, and he owns his own, um, <clears throat> the Hornets Arena. Okay. So, now nah, this is, I was there for this, too. Uh -huh. Forgive me for this. No, don't forgive me, because we're going to stand our Talk ground. Talk shit, mm -hmm. right. They looted the Hornets mm. building, you know what I'm saying? But that was more because... You weren't even trying to help your people. You know what I'm saying? But he's and never had, though. Let's be honest. I mean, he hasn't, but it was just kind of like... You don't just, go ruckus, huh? Yeah. <laughs> for real. Straight facts. Uh, so I was like, all right, facts. you all these exclusive J's that's in here? I mean... Phone calls. Everybody. Hey, yo, we about to go in here and loot this since they don't want to show us peace. And, like, the Epic Center is very racist. Like, you have uh, different clubs that won't allow you in if you're black. Like, so... 
-hmm. was like, this is the top place that you make your money at. Mm -hmm. And all the banks, because you know, North Carolina is a bank state. And this is where all your big banks are located. So you're going to feel this. And they had to feel that because for weeks, you couldn't go there because it was so fucked up. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. like. I mean, we we feel that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm I'm so for black people. I'm so for, I'm against police brutality. I'm against, you know what I'm saying, them killing us. Because that's what they're doing. They're killing us. You feel me? But it's just. To what, what avail to? does protesting do? I feel like it's not really going to, it's not going to do anything until at least 80% of black people stick together. Like, for but real. That's, that's but, but that's what I feel like. It's not just black people. We going to need the Caucasians. We oh, gonna, of course. We yeah, need everybody. everybody. Yeah. And then but, that's when it's going to do something, though. Because but if we it's can't just ask us, for something if we can't if support we can't it ourselves. ourselves. Right. Yeah. Like, they're always talking that. about, oh, stop killing niggas, blah, 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 blah. But niggas. then they out here, like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, they out here supporting the businesses that don't support us. So Thanks. it's like, Thanks. where your money going? You working hard, you doing Chick-fil-A. nine to five, whatever. Come on now. Chick-fil-A. Talk that shit. Like it's yeah. it's Thanks. just annoying. Uh, I feel it, but so what's gonna be the what's gonna be the I'm saying, but I feel like it's ways to get that 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 des- get to that destination without protesting. Like I feel like all right, the same niggas, you feel me? Right. Y'all not going to the town hall meeting. We're not going yeah. to to really conjugate and come up with a a solution a real plan like no it's just we don't have no plans people protest but what is the plan like what do you want out of this protest right i mean you can't tell you it's just i'm mad i'm gonna go burn some shit because i'm mad because they feel like niggas not gonna nobody's gonna listen to us but i'm saying don't listen but they will right because they they will but nobody's talking that's what i'm saying a good leadership but here this this is my uh this is the meme i was telling you about earlier it says instead of marching and begging for the city to remove a Confederate status uh, statues from city parks, some black men in Memphis purchased the parks that had statues of Jefferson Davis and took that and, shit yep, down. And Nathan Bedford Forrest, a founder and of the KKK, took that KKK, shit KKK, down. Yep, and they removed the statues. Then this one dude said, "We don't march no more. We make money moves." That's but that's, that's smart. Yeah, that's right. smart. I mean, that's that's literally then, that, then that's action. That's more than just like yep. and, you, and you ain't gotta ask nobody. That's real power. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta exactly. ask you to, to move. You got the money. Right. Money is power. Yep. You think so? Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up, yeah. Jack. That's actually yeah, that's, that's one of the topics. Glad Here you brought go. that up. Fact, what now. what is like what is power to you? What, what is, is power, power to you? To me? To yeah, what or does it to mean? like like the situation I'm in. To you. No, to you, period. <clears throat> like, what does it mean? To me, I feel like it could be the spark. Uh-huh. I feel like it could be gas. I feel like it could start anything that you set your mind to. Okay. So you if say you, money is power, so what is that? What does that mean? So what if I take a match and burn your money? Do you now have no power? I mean, in terms of wealth and in terms of financially, nah. Because <laughs> you burn my money. I mean, what am I going? What am I going to buy your shit with? What am I going to buy that park with? I mean, I think money is power because mm-hmm. money can buy influence. Money can buy uh, government sways. You know, that's mm-hmm. how that's how these True. businesses get what they want because they have money. Yep. They sway the government to do what they need to do. So money can buy influence, which in another sense. I believe it's power. Money yeah. can put you on a status. It can make you seem like the alpha in a room of mm-hmm. people who ain't got the money that you have. Yeah. Like money can set you on Same that. Now I'm not saying that's the only way you can get money right. and power, but that I believe money is power. Because knowledge is power too. Like, yeah. Period. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of powers out here. It's just yeah. which one. Look at you. Uh, Speak on it. I don't agree with that. With that. Knowledge yeah. ain't so, power. Knowledge. I mean, at the end of the day, you go to a, a, a university and you see a lot of professors who got this knowledge. Mm-hmm. They broke. <laughs> Right. What, what power is that? Because but we said knowledge money. is power, not knowledge is money. But I'm saying, now I'm saying, like, but what, what power do you have because you don't have no? Because you can help somebody that's ignorant, and doesn't know a certain thing. You could teach them about the subject, whether yeah. they want to learn think, or not. I think, that's knowledge, I think knowledge is power once you apply it. That's true. Oh, yeah. But you need knowledge to apply. Yeah, you can't like, just learn it and then it's not you. That's like, what I'm like, saying. But a lot of people have this knowledge, and don't they don't know what to do. Oh, oh, like, for instance, a lot of people go to college, right? right. Millennials. Right. right. They're right. going to college, and my nigga, you don't got no job after you did four years and you $60,000. Right. 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 For what? For what? $60,000. But you send back. But you send back saying knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. You got a degree. Eat a dick. America. No, facts. Eat a dick. You're right. Because they send us, like, like, what's your soul to dream? But no, it's like, all right. For instance, bro, I'm a I'm a millionaire. You dig what I'm saying? Do mm-hmm. I got a million right now? No, but uh-huh. it's a million in my brain. Period. Like, you feel I what I'm you. saying? Period. So I once you. I get this million out my brain, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Now I'm a millionaire. But did I need a, did I need a school to teach me how to get out my brain? No, no. I just had to sit there and think. You know what I'm saying? Get into it with my higher self. Get it, read a couple books. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Way less than sixty bands a year. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all sitting fat, <laughs> I feel and that. we right. broke. Right. And right. then yeah. we create gener- generational. 
brokenness, generational Period. debt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When the other man is doing generational wealth. Yep. So now we 10 steps behind yep. because your grandkids behind. And yep. if you're not hustling for your last name, you hustling backwards and you a clown to me. Mm. And that's period. Preach, Chris, okay. I feel it. I feel it. Early. I, feel that for sure. I can't even respond to that, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? I got me thinking. Right and that's the whole, that's First Amendment, man. We got, you know what I'm saying? We just empowering, you know, everybody. the brother man. Oh, yeah. so, he said everybody. It. I said brother man. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, we talked about money. So what about, so how you feel, because I was thinking about this earlier, mm -hmm. if you made more than your man? Woo! Do it. I've already been in that situation before. Really? So Yeah, so, like my ex, uh, I took care of everything. He didn't help pay any oh, bills. Okay. And Why was I don't Oh, so he's a slob, huh, Jay? Yeah. 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 Go ahead, Jay. What did he do? Like, I mean, I'm real with you. I was a dick with his eyes. I mean, you know, I go a... fly to town for the anyway. Yeah, but, right. Right. yeah. Uh, I'm going to be real with you. Like, okay, that's real. Let yeah. me talk my shit. So, I mean, I'm going to be real with you. I feel like he was my son. Like, I'm, yo, because he ain't playing like, for nothing. Yo. Shit. What is like, he doing? For I used to be you? like, bro, Honestly. don't talk. I'm, I'm out here doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm a woman of many hats. Uh. Chris to tell you, you know what mm. I'm saying? So I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure our home is taken care of. But if I'm coming home and you're not doing shit, bro, I'm, I don't really respect you like that. Like, mm. it's only two things you can do for me right now. Mm. And let's not be a headache because mm. once you become a headache, I'm going to be like, I don't know. Fuck you. Like, you, ain't, you, ain't you ain't got no right. backbone, but it's yeah. crazy. I just want to point out to Dre, though, that all this junk just... Like all our topics, just you feel me? Like all coincide, but I just think that's crazy. Yeah. Right. But how she just uh, said, like you know, you a son to me. Uh, period. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, you're clowning. You're uh, not doing paying shit. For him to eat, paying for him to live. Like yeah. I'm, your clothes. So everything. how long did that last? Oh, you know, until I moved here and I sold his car. You know, and then oh long. shit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. you stole a whip. I mean, you know, I just cause Yo. the trade girl had to come out me. I'm like, all right, now you want to play games? Like uh, this is all you got, and you right, trying to play, right. trying to play me? Come off that. No, nah, so I'm going to show you how to get down. Like, we're not going to ever finesse the finesse it. If it's sweet, eat, eat. Period. Okay, okay. But, I mean, I feel like, you know, the the roles have switched. Mm. And men have 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 an idea to become a woman for whatever reason that is. Mm. Men, mm. men want to mm. be taken care of. No, he really I, is. I think, Facts. I think that's that's very spineless. That's mm. very bitch-like. No, if, like, I'm not calling women bitches, but... But it is. That's like, no, like, as a man, and you want a woman to take care of you, you want some bitch shit. Right. If you're trying man. to be the man in your house, you're trying to be the leader, then you got to step up and take those responsibilities. You know yep. what I'm saying? I feel like part of them responsibilities is standing up when you piss. You know what mm. I'm saying? What is you sitting down for? Like, Period. you know what I'm saying? Like, what is you wiping your coochie for? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, niggas, like, men, like, men, be men. That's right. real, though. I have a problem with men who are not men. Like, that really irritates the hell out of me, that, uh -huh. you know yep. what I'm saying? That you, uh -huh. like, how do you even sleep at night? You know, I understand rough patches. Don't get me wrong. Right, right. right. That's and it's, different. And it's different if, it, you know, your woman yeah. holding you down. Right, right. But for you to really go to sleep at night. And be okay with it. And be okay with your woman. Okay. Paint, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And just waking up every day going through she the She might motion. as well take her yeah. titty out and breastfeed you. Period. You know what I'm saying? Period. It's more than, like, yeah, like you said, it's good. Like, I mean, it's okay if you go through a rough patch. But if that's your end goal to just sleep on a, well, not sleep. I mean, shit, you probably yeah, sleep in the bed where watching that's, oh, yeah, and that's, and that's my thing, though. Like, really, at the end of the day, once everything come into fruition for me, I don't care if I done cheated or whatever. No woman will say, Chris, go sleep on the couch. Hey, hey. No you, don't have, oh. you don't have that right because I pay for this mm -hmm. shit. Oh, okay. up. Talk to so me. Okay. Right. Because I'm a man. Agreed. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to be right. a man. You yeah. feel me? So it's like at the end of the day, I'm going to do what men do. Yeah, you know? I never understood saying? that. Like, I was just watching a movie the other day, and uh, this, the husband and the wife got into it, and then she handed him oh no she had this bag in her hand and walked to the door he's like where are you going she's like nowhere <laughs> she opened and said he leaving, <laughs> he leaving. He he left. But, like, but who name on the house though him like he, he was like, he was like a hockey player so he he had the money like that right, shit was right. his i'm like Duh, i mean i mean when, I mean, when you get married shit. you do give up the eyes for us and i understand that uh, yeah. but if you so damn mad, you take your ass on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> or you go get you a room and show the fuck out. Yeah. That's fuck why you got to have a man cave. No, that's why it. you got to be a man, bro. Yeah, if, if I sleep honestly. in a bed every night, I don't care right around. I'm sleeping in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, go sleep on the couch. The fuck you I look be like. mad all you want. I'm still going to get a good night. But nice you got to blame the women. Period. Shit, like, I'm going to be real with you. Because, like, I Talk said, what that did you shit, say? T. I did it. Uh. So, and I couldn't be mad at nobody but myself. Like, my older brother is 
he kind of act like how you do, Chris. Like, I'm a man. I'm going to take care of this and that. So my brother used to be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this ain't what you were supposed to be doing. And he like, you mad at him for cheating and doing the shit that he doing, but you, you allowed, allowed it. it. You, you, allowed you, it. You, yep. you didn't show your work. <laughs> so what the fuck word. is he saying? Hey, well, well, as long as he say sorry, it's okay though, right? No, fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that hey, that's shit, what she right? said though, right? The nigga say sorry, we good. Uh, you know. That's it. That's my husband. Hey, my nigga, hey, my nigga Future say if she catch me cheating, I won't never tell her sorry. Duh. I meant when that you shit. said that shit, I had to rewind it a couple of times. I meant that times. shit with everything. Cause I was, <laughs> but real talk, nigga, like, bro, you cheated, bro. What you mean, <laughs> son? <laughs> you, <laughs> you meant to bust that nut. You meant to hit her doggy style. Bro, you no. meant to hit her raw. Period. Period. Yeah, you can't make a mistake. Oh, my dick fell on her. Like, but, no. No, bro. You I did meant, all that. I meant every stroke. <laughs> you feel me? Every stroke I made that shit. I feel That's funny. But I mean... And Came back to what you was talking about in terms of, like, if the woman, like, if she, I don't care if she makes more than me. I really don't. Like, yeah, I want to be a man. Shit. Yeah, I'm trying to take care of my household. But, shit, if she got it going on, yeah. I'm working on it. Mm. Then I can't really be mad if she making more than me. Right, right. And that's, nah. what, that's what we were saying about the, if you working. To, as long yeah. as your mindset ain't to just be okay with okay, where you yeah, are. Like, you trying to rise above, then, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. everybody got their rough patches. But yeah. I just don't, like, I don't know. Like, I agree with what Chris said about being a man. But then again, it's like, then again, everybody's like, what's the word? Like, everybody's trying to switch. Man trying to be a woman. Men are trying to be a man. Like, woman trying to prove that she can be a man. And, like, a man trying to prove he can be, like, emotional or whatever. And I'm like, why does that even need it nowadays? That shit because switched. our society is teaching us to, what am I, what's the word? Except like? gender neutrality. Yeah. Period. And I don't like that shit, though. <clears throat> but you know what, though? Honestly, this all a part of this government bullshit especially in our community because you got black women now who are single parents who now it's like all right well you can get assistance if he not helping you can get child support like so you you families are not together anymore you families don't even mean family man. like Honestly, you don't you say family and it's like huh what do that mean Period. Like family period. is subjective now. Yeah. Like <laughs> people pick their friends and make them family yeah. more than I mean, their own. For that, that's a fact especially being in a D. But like I remember growing up bro like I got friends, you feel me, who ate at the dinner table with their family every right. day, and I think that shit is amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't do that, bro. Yeah. For real? It was, bro, hell no. And I know you from Take the soft and junk, but like, bro, you get your plate and go to your room. You go to your room and watch your TV. <laughs> See, yeah. Nah, uh, nah. Yeah. It yeah. was come eat at this table. Or I'm a beach your ass. When I was when I was, when I, when I, when I was at my grandma's crib, that's what we doing. Right. right. But I'm talking when I'm at the crib every day. I'm not every day at my, my grandma's crib. Every right. day I'm at my mama, my mama crib. You right. Feel me? And then shit, you take your food. I'm right. like, you know what I'm saying? I was getting blowed and all type of shit. So it's like, you feel me? I eat five hours after everybody. <laughs> <does you. laughs> yeah, niggas wasn't even asking, like, yo, where you at? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. I hear you. So, but that shit, just, it wasn't like that, though. But I think family time is essential for, it like, is. you know, just child development, just growing up. And, it really you know, is, shit. though. Because, like, I grew up like that. Like, parents went to church, all that stuff, you know. But it was like, we always spent time together. And then that first year after we graduated, I tried to get out. But then that's when I. church? No, I try to get like go to college, like how you say, like go <laughs> yeah, to college, no, get the degree, blah blah blah, go through the steps. But then that's when I learned, like, what am I doing this for? The only Period. reason I went to college it's for y'all, uh, it's for who? Exactly for the hey, parents, because they told me to and they raised me that way. And then I get there, I find myself, I don't need this. I don't yeah. need to be in debt for four. 40,000 a year, like, what else? The crazy part is, man, <laughs> in other countries, man, that shit is free, dog. As fuck. Man. That's what's crazy, bro. They, they prospering. But it's mm -hmm. like, bro, it's so much of a scam mm -hmm. that, because I really want to know who eating, besides the financial <laughs> institutions. Right. Who eating off that shit, bro? Fuck's not the man. students. Of course not the students. <laughs> Them niggas is in debt. Right. It's just you crazy how jobs, like, they require shit. you to get a degree to have a certain job, and then you yep. get that degree, and then the job's not even available. That's like, what I'm saying. That's why you, you put be, all that time for. You got to be a boss and make your own job. Mm. Make You're your, right. Yep. Make your own position. You're right. Employ the niggas that. you want employed. Period. Seven streams of income. Make a legacy. Seven. Yeah. You feel me? You got. Oh, what is that? I don't think. I don't seven, think everybody knows what that seven means. streams. Basically, just I mean, create seven streams, different streams of income. Like right now, I got four. I need three more. Period. I mean, and then, but you wanna you wanna create a passive income. You wanna be able to make money when you not at work. 
When you you want to make money while you sleep. Okay. Okay. Like that's the right. that's the goal. See, he said while you sleep, I say while you smacking a shorty from the back. You might. Oh my god. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. No, real talk. What, who wouldn't want to be? I'm basically a gigolo at that point. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, that's exactly what the fuck you are. I'm a passive gigolo. Who can, oh who can stop me? Who, what can you say to me? At the end of the day, my last name is Anoa. Let my kids is good. We wavy. Period. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel it. Who, you know what I'm saying? If you and if you're not hustling for your last name, you are clowning. Mm -hmm. Yep. What is you I'm doing? Rich. And that's why I feel like. You know, shout out to my mama generation and all that. You know, she did her mm -hmm. thing being a single mama, but she was selfish. She stopped hustling. Yep. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, she she's doing her thing. She, I think, like a, a supervisor as a probation officer and type of shit like that. Uh, right. But uh, if I'm fucked up, I ain't go to school. Can I can I knock on the door and be like, Ma, can I get a job? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, you doing? That's what that dude, uh, Dame Dash, like a few years ago, he was saying that, but nobody, even me at the time, I couldn't fuck with like what he was saying. He was mm -hmm. saying right. like basically, he said he don't want to go to the job and have a boss that basically he said it's like you calling that man daddy. Mm -hmm. Now he probably went about it the wrong way and like hurt a lot of people feelings because, but he was saying some real shit. See? Like basically, he saying he said he was saying like asking the radio people like. If your son said the same shit, like, can you give him a job? Like, you don't own nothing. Basically, say you have nothing to give to your worker. family. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what he said. That's what he said he's working for. He said he's working so at the end of the day he can pass it on, you know, yep. build that generational wealth. Yep. And that's exactly what I want to be able to do to Period. keep yep. that shit in, yep. you know, the community, I mean, in the and, family. And that's but, how it's generate. That's really how I stay in there, though. Right, but really, right. it ain't enough. Of, it ain't enough of us thinking like that. Right, but people right. think you crazy when you when you think like I, that. No, they do. I, like, I, yo, do you know how many she got backlash. Period. You know how many yeah. times people will sit there and like degrade you because you doing something that they not used to, and it's like, right. bro, what the fuck you mean? Because it's different. I, I strive for that though. Exactly. I, 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 I strive to be different. I want to be the same. Bro, I was not trying to be no cookie cutter out here. I tweeted the other day, like, man, my 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 spirit is vibrating to higher frequencies and lets people understand me. Mm. I love that. Period. Yeah. I love that people don't because you're like, cutting out all that BS. You don't uh -huh. need around you. And it really, not not only that, but it's like you don't understand me because you are the bullshit. Period. You know? Period. You can't, you can't understand it because you're the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You're not growing. You know right. what I'm saying? If you don't get like this, go to everybody. Family, friends, right? Mm -hmm. Day ones, my nigga. If you not growing, you get left. Boy, people oh, look rips. at themselves like, damn, he doing that. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Fuck it, he can't do it either. And that's how they think, mm -hmm. man. But no, that's no. The worst up. thing yeah. though is people project their fears on you. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my they feel God. like they can't. Right. Nigga, you can't. And it's like, bro, <laughs> even if that's how you feel, bro, like, let me don't tell let me, me. Let me, like, let me right. feel. That's yep. how I feel, though. Let yeah, me I feel. Say you, I told you so, then shit. Hate? No, you know, I don't rather none of that. Keep all your negative vibes. I, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be falling on my face man. and you be like, Keep all that away. my nigga, you tried and you, you didn't. You know what I'm saying? I mm. tried that shit. Uh. And that's all I can say is I tried. I, gave I mean, my, to be I gave honest, all, and that's all I can do. I'd rather have somebody talk that shit to me. Because honestly, that kind of motivate me more. Like, yeah, it's kind of like. It kind of like takes away from it, but at the same time, it kind of motivates me more. Like, oh, you don't believe I could do it? Now I got to prove. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, that's I, true. I feel it that, but I'm, I'm like, I rather have support by the people that I'm close to, though. But that's oh, what I was about to say, though, because like when yeah. you're really striving for something crazy, like if it's, if it's, like your dreams, if they don't scare you, they're not big enough. Mm -hmm. right? You know Man. what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. like, I didn't, I didn't say some shit to my peoples. And my peoples, my family, this yep. is not friends. I'm talking like yep. my grandma, like, look, mm -hmm. baby. Be realistic. <laughs> Come to reality. <laughs> and when it's shit like that, I ain't going to hold you up. I don't want to hear that shit, though, because that, nah. that shit hurt my pride. That hurt my feelings. That hurt, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I mean, that's why I don't care what friends got to say, but it's like when your family, family. be like, that would hurt. Nigga, no, you can't do that shit. Then it's like, you know, that shit hit you, but like, ass, fuck though. them. I yeah. literally got yeah. kicked out the house over that shit, man. Like, I was going to a session, and my dad was like, oh, you can't go, you got to watch your sister. And he's the type of nigga, like, you got to plan two, three weeks in advance, whatever. To, to, to dip? At the crib? Yeah, like, this is what Damn. happened. So, pretty much, I planned a session with my nigga. He said, all right, let me know two weeks ahead. All right, I was like, all right, bet. This was senior year in college, or high school. And then pretty much I was leaving. He was like, oh, no, you got to watch your sister. And I'm like, but I told you I got a session. He was like, all right, well, you leave, don't come back. <laughs> I was like, bet. I grabbed my computer. I grabbed some clothes. And you I was did. like, fuck it. I'm going to prove to y'all about this shit for oh, real. Right. But you got to do that's this boys, though. That's boys, though. That's boys. That is. Man, like, I'm glad I always had the mama who never... Shit, get the fuck out, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that even that's shit. a problem right there, the fact that, like, our parents aren't supporting this shit and they want us to be regular-ass people. Robots. Right. But that's because they don't know. You got to think about the generation they come from. They mm. don't know anything different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, my mama motto and didn't want me to motto. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So I it think was, that's ass backwards that's though. That's fucked up. Yeah. Like it's, it's super fucked up. Because they always say they don't want you to go through the things they went through, but at the same time, like how that do you know you are gonna go through the same exact yeah. things right. that your parents went through? Right. That, that shit is needed, time. bro. At the end of the day, 
Nigga, I needed to be a cush head in, in high school. Uh, period. So you can focus on now. Nigga, not even that, but bro, I done got high, I done met old heads, I done, I done met, you know what I'm saying? I done seen a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. I done seen, like, some fucked up shit, you feel right. me? Mm -hmm. But I needed to see that shit to be like, all right, my nigga, this is not what I want to do, and this is what I want to do. Right. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? This right. is like, I, I, need to, I need to be around these fuck ups in my life at this point in time. So I can see each and every last one of y'all fuck up, and I didn't fuck up by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Now I got my head on straight because I could have fucked up. Right. Yeah. That could have been me. In a, you know what I'm saying? I feel it. I feel like, it. All my niggas done went to jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas that got killed. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking yeah. brutally murdered. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shot with a, a K. Right. Like, Multiple. Swiss cheese. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? They holes in their body. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, bro, that could have been me. Yep. But by the grace of God, it wasn't. So now, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking a little bit different. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, but I had to. I can't just, you can't be like, oh, what's well, son? The iron hot. I'm gonna believe that shit. I gotta touch that yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I gotta get burnt to be like, damn, that shit was hot as fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shit. And then when I got kids, man, I'm not gonna try to show. I'm not. I'm gonna try to get the best knowledge to my kids. Right. But I'm not gonna try to shelter them though. I'm gonna be like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, like shit. That, like not even to be funny. Don't. But when that shit was on, on Nemo, he was like, you can't you can't do that shit Nemo because it's a little fan and mm -hmm. shit. But he was like, nigga, I'm gonna do that shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he is gonna always do that shit. They I was, are. I was that kid, and I remember being that kid is doing that shit. Mm -hmm. And then if they, my kids for real, I know they gonna have that same shit in them. Like yep. shit, I can do this shit too. You feel yep. me? So it's like shit, right. you, my nigga, I you mean, gotta you fall. Take Some people yeah. gotta learn through experience. Yeah. And I'm definitely yeah. one of them. Niggas. Taking risks is, is a good thing and a bad thing. It is. But I feel like if you take a calculated risk, then you good. It's right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You weigh the cost. Exactly. It's like shit I can feel, but shit you can succeed too. Right. You got one life. You gotta. You gotta, gotta you can't it. just be mediocre. Period. Life, mm -hmm. life too short to be mediocre. But, I mean, sure, we got two artists in here. Two artists. So, you know, <laughs> let's talk about a little music. Okay. Ooh, start with you. Who's your favorite artist? Oh, man. Favorite artist overall? Shit, man. We were talking about this in the car. That's yeah. like, it's like, it's, it's hard for me because I try to be versatile. Like, right, if it right. comes to, like, melodies and shit, I'm fucking with Uzi. I can't okay. even lie. Right. Man, listen. That's what's up, though. I don't even care about what he's saying. Like, for me, I was talking to Dre about it. When I listen to an artist, I learn. Mm. I'm not just listening to him for vibes or, like, to feel a certain type of way. I'm trying to learn. Right. And when I listen to this man, he be having just the melodies. It's like the riffs he be doing. It's just like, bro, it's so simple. But it's like, wow, why didn't I think of that? Mm. I feel it, but so, that shit. I'm my fault. Now, like I said, mm. I'm going to keep going. Like, mm. if it comes to consciousness, then, of course, Cole. And okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm versatile. Like I like Uzi, I like Cole. Okay. Um, I gotta say Big Sean. He an inspiration. Most people don't fuck with him. I do. Boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, I like a lot of people, man. Huh. Like SZA. That's like, how you say that? Yeah. Wow. Oh, no. I was saying it. Shit, SZA. Like, stay woke, bro. Oh, right. Stay SZA. woke, bro. I mean, I don't, I don't, man, look, dude. I'm, bro, I'm not. <laughs> you ain't never heard of Rizzo? <laughs> you sleep. Wow. Wu-Kang. You ever heard of Smoke Dizzle? Wu-Kang? Wu-Kang. Wu-Kang. Wow. Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang Wu Clan. Wu-Tang Wu Wu Clan. Wu 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 Clan. Nah. <laughs> anyway, so your favorite. Shut up this number. My favorite artist. Y'all not even going to know who this is. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give you two. Just because I know you're not going to know the first one. My favorite artist is Fela Akute. He's a. Nigerian artist back in the like 70s because I'm the type of person so I, <laughs> I feel like as an artist you are supposed to change the world mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying that's your music it. is what touches everybody mm -hmm. that's your favorite like, print, huh? yeah mm -hmm. period Literally. so you gotta give a message and you're supposed to be able to change any and everything that's gonna your music should reflect the times mm -hmm. I don't feel like none of the music nowadays is reflecting the times mm -hmm. whoa Deep. period so Damn. I feel like we need so, a cool bomb for, cool for that one. <laughs> so it's like you know that's but if you want me to talk about somebody that that's trying to get y'all on one level, we gonna talk about Jigga then, Jay Z. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. come on, he he used to not be woke. Now mm -hmm. he like listen. Me he was always woke though. He was, but he wasn't. He had his he had his nigga moment. Excuse my language, but that's the truth. He had his nigga moment where it was I got my chains, I got all my money, I'm fucking hoes, I'm mm. cheating on the baddest bitch in the world. Okay, <laughs> that's, what now, that's what niggas do. That's what niggas do. But Bruh. now he like, Bruh. yo, I got all this money and you know, none of this shit mean nothing to me. Because mm. if you ain't got assets and your family not coming first, then what the fuck? Do, what are we doing this mm. for? I mean, uh, what you mean? What? I mean, uh, I don't think he had no nigga moment though. What? I think Why? he, I think he evolved as a person. I mean, he did, but she's saying he started. Like, yeah, I mean, he started. But you got to remember, like, that's niggas, what got niggas popping, though. Like, if you're you. not talking that rah rah shit, I don't want to hear you. Because he's talking but, like, he talking yeah. like, we escaping poverty, laughing. Like, like, bro, he was talking that shit that niggas really 
couldn't even relate to right i mean this is true exactly. but i feel like when he first came out you know, i remember he was what was he 26 27 yeah, my and some of his first song like oh he was talking, imaginary he was talking, he was player like shit. yeah he was a, it was about being bossed up living in a stop like yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying like but he was always talking that bullshit, bullshit. yeah right. i will give him that because niggas looked up bullshit. to that though period in all honesty but like i said kids. he was always ahead of the curve though because like you yep. said he came out at 27 he talking yep. bullshit then mm -hmm. yep and then like now he you know on 444 you know what i'm saying he talking like Get some credit. Well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But he, he said he dumped that down. But yeah. that's what he I'm did, saying. You can tell. And that's why I'm saying he was always woke, though. But it's just, he said he do that shit for his audience. Mm. Mm. And that's like, when I took public speaking, rule number one was to always, always know your audience. Mm. Right. But so, what did I just say to you? What? What did I say? These artists, the music, music is not reflecting the time. But, but they yeah, are, though, because when you look at 444, he literally laid out a blueprint, crazy enough. Finally. A blueprint for niggas to get money. And then, like, even <laughs> taking it back to SZA, like this one song, uh, 20 something. Like, yeah, it's not really, it's made for a girl, but at the same time, it can go for any of us in the 90s, anybody that's 20-something going through the daily struggles, because we all go through the same yeah, stuff, right. no matter. Like, you listen to Mick Jenkins? No. This no. dude be listening to <laughs> oh. No, 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 I knew y'all was going to say, no, he, he put a song off on me, he was dope. He was yeah, dope. but was Mick Jenkins, he's just dude out of Chicago, but he be spitting real shit. Like, he even put out this song called I Can't Breathe, uh -huh. where he basically talking about Eric Garner. Mm -hmm. Like, it, you can't really tell unless you, like, really listen, like, oh, that's what he's talking about. And the whole time he's like, I can't breathe, and then he just, like, but everything is about Eric Garner, and then, like, uh, like that whole the situation. Poly, yeah, mm -hmm. the whole situation. So, like, he be saying, talking about some, like, real shit that's a be about the time. But he's not popular He yet. is popular. What about Jordan yeah. Lucas? No, he, he got he got over like a million know, a million followers on I want to say on either like SoundCloud or IG like he popping okay. yeah but but he's not he's obviously not like he grew Mainstream, up with, like Chance basically. yeah he's not okay. he, oh yeah he, yeah. Andy, like, he, he had Andy a lot of songs sure. with Chance when he was coming up but Chance took his uh took like a higher route just right. uh, yeah I don't know his trajectory <clears throat> yeah his trajectory mm -hmm. was a little bit higher but yeah he's still popping though Mick Jenkins well I ain't gonna hold you up bro on the mic when it come for me the greatest to ever do it was Drake. Drake. He's the greatest. Now, is he the greatest song maker or like lyricist? Of course not the song maker. He doesn't write his shit. But neither does <laughs> yeah. but neither, neither does Beyonce. But she's great. Yeah. I can't knock her hustle. Yeah. So I can't knock her crab because Talent. she's a performer. So she I'm gonna, is. I'm going to perform. She and that's is. what my nigga Drake do, bro. He can he can get on the track and talk that hood shit. He can sing about a bitch broke his heart. And it's just all shit. He can just think about money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing all my chains in the crib because I started from the bottom. Now here, oh. nigga, that's some bullshit. Uh. Like, cause I remember, nigga, I remember. You know what I'm saying? Walking the grass. Yeah. And then you, you feel me, bro? I used to watch the grass. Yeah. <laughs> I seen, I seen when that nigga <laughs> shot him in his back, bro. I've I was watching that. that I didn't even have cable. Though, so. <laughs> I, I seen, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching the grass and shit. Yeah. I remember Ashley hammed him. Uh, I remember okay. all that. You feel yeah, me? I do not. Manny know came in with the thong on. Look, I remember uh, that episode. Manny, when she came with the thong on, I thought she was bad as hell, though. That's real talk. I thought she was fine as fuck, but that's neither here nor there. But anyways, I think my nigga Drake is the GOAT. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, you always got to rock with Jay-Z. Uh. But I feel like Ross talked the most shit. bullshit. Hey. Yes. yes. And it's like, like I ain't going to hold you up. I love that nigga. I love that nigga music, but it's sometimes I got to turn that shit off because I be like, dog, I ain't even there yet, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't he like hearing that shit because I be mad. This nigga, like, it's, it's 20. It's, he said it's 1 million for, for a chandelier. I got 20 of them. Who, who real? I'm like, damn. Shit, I ain't real. He made that type of music off. you got a daydream about. Like, right. you grinding. Yeah. Like, that stuff you working for. That shit motivation yeah. on our, it I is. respect that shit. And, you know, mm -hmm. you know me, he, you know, he had his little beef with, with, with Drake. But I rock with that nigga because of yep. his character. I like his character. You know what I'm saying? I, I watch his interviews and I hear what he got to say. And it's just all thorough. You yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. And uh, like you said, you know, from the D-Dog, I rock with Big Sean. Um, just because he putting on that right, anti Grizzly. Right. But the coldest, this is my opinion, is yeah. not Eminem. No. I never thought Eminem was no. You'll never hear me say that either. Yeah, but nah, not really. The, well, I mean, <laughs> the coldest right now in this, this little era, I think, is my nigga Babyface, right? I think that nigga called, he you know what I'm saying? Is that nigga lit. talked that shit, I and I rock talking him. about. See, my Boy, nigga, my nigga I, right. I, I, I baby just face. moved here, and even I You talking about the singer, baby face? Right? Oh, this nigga, no. baby face, right. You feel me? He team Eastside. I got a bad that's ass why. bitch on my team side. You feel me? That's, hey, that's, okay, that's, that's the song that did it for me. I'm like, Whoa. I said, dog, where he come from? Like, no, he was on that team. No like pistol. Cutting niggas off. Sword. Nigga, I'm a boss. Blade you said Black Eyes Wood? Yeah, wait. She said Bad Ass Bitch on my side. She was like, I got a bad ass bitch on my side. Football pass. What is it? Shit, I don't know. I don't know the rest, but he be basically. Bank roll look like a football pad, pad on, on my thigh. thigh. Uh, Bitches got you, Nike's accent. Look, yeah, I didn't know the reply. You feel me? Okay, but he just, he just hit my line, baby. He just be, he just be <laughs> chilling and shit. That's why I like that nigga though. He ain't okay. too animated. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's how the baby straight. You feel me? Dre, who you got? 
I mean, like I, mean, I mentioned Jack. earlier, Mick Jenkins, that's my favorite rapper. Because he be saying... Oh, you said Mick Jagger. Mick Jenkins. Mick, oh, Put favorite. him on, though, because obviously on, he got to be talking some shit. Like, so yeah. I want to know more about him. Like, yeah, no, definitely. like, he, he speaks, yeah. he spit, he spit, like, real shit on good beats. Like, right. I, I, like a lot of people, they be upset, like, oh, you don't listen to so-and-so, but he spit real shit. I mean, yeah, but the beat is whack, the production suck, mm -hmm. so I don't Talk care what they shit, have Jack. to say. Yep. You feel me? Okay. Like, people, people are so one-dimensional with music, but yep. I'm like... I'm like, you can't, you can't, it's like a point guard. A point guard got to shoot, he got to pass, he got to dribble. If a point guard can just shoot, but he can't do other shit else. You said a point like, guard. Like you said Steph Curry, bummy as hell, then. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all oh, Steph. Oh, oh. Hey, we ain't going to chill baby. Yeah. Can he dribble? Yes. Can he does pass? He yes. yes. Can he shoot? He should, can he play Seven, defense? baby, my baby okay, always Curry. We ain't say defense. You said, you said a point guard got to do everything. Curry, I didn't say defense. If we going to talk about it, if we going to talk about it, talk about it. That's what I'm saying. He dribble. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm with the dubs. I'm with all that shit. <laughs> he win championships. But, but Kyrie, Pre. Kyrie <laughs> Irving, Kyrie Irving, Irving to get that nigga sauce. That's all I'm saying. And he might. Okay. That's all I'm saying. And Kyrie Irving to get that nigga sauce. That's it. Kyrie shoot a three over. I mean, I'm about to say, let's think about it. Can Kyrie shoot? Kind of. Yeah. Can he dribble? What you mean, yes. Kinda. Can he drive? Uh, Kyrie yes. can shoot. He can definitely Kyrie can shoot. shoot, and he got that I bitch mean, on the string. I mean, he's more of a driver, though. He got that I mean, bitch on the string, honest, but yeah. I'm saying because he can get through that bitch like, uh, uh, easy. Yeah. <laughs> you feel right. me? And that's why it's just all respect. Wait, like, like what? Like, uh, uh, easy. You feel know? <laughs> Like, that's what he do, and it's just sauce. Every time I watch Kyrie, I just be like, damn, that's sauce. I can't even. Yeah, that's just Jerky. sauce. No, it mm -hmm. is. It is. It's just sauce. It is. But, yeah, but basically that's what I was saying, like, just... You got to have it all, and a lot of people, they just have one dimension, mm -hmm. and I just like, I feel like Mick Jenkins, he got it all. He got the lyrics, he got the production, he got the, the yeah, flow. Damn, like, Dre want to fuck that nigga, too, though. Don't do my thing like that. I got your bitch. I'm support, bro. I would love to have somebody support me like that, for real, That was some real shit, because niggas don't really, I don't know, I ain't never heard of him, but now I'm about to go listen to him. Yeah, I mean, go, like, just off of what he said, off the street. No, for real talk, though, like, he played him for me, though, like, I was right, like, I rocked with his message, you feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's really oh damn, my fault. I forgot future, but yeah, but Mick Jenkins was definitely straight. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's mine. That's who I listen. Everything else is just like, I mean, they got a cool song here and there. I listen to right. it, but yeah. So yeah, that's who, who I be rocking with. That's it. I mean, I listen. I don't listen to that's that. There's a music. lot of like, people I be rocking I, with. Like, We're like I listen that. to a few people, a few songs from everybody. Like future, I fuck with future, but I can't fuck with a whole future tape. No, not a whole. No. I can't no. fuck with a whole young thug tape. I can't, oh, I, I, can't even, I can't even fuck with a whole Kendrick tape. Like what? No facts. <laughs> facts. Yo, Kendrick is like his lyrics are dope. I cannot get this nigga voice, man. <laughs> this nice nigga do voice. octaves and shit. Like, bro, yeah. chill the fuck out, man. I'm trying to. Like, I be low key. No, real talk. Look, 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 bro. I used to blow heavy dope. You bro. feel me? I'm sitting there fried in the whip. I'm mm -hmm. blow. This nigga get to talking in this way and talking. I'm like, dog, I had to turn that <laughs> shit yeah, off because yeah. it was blowing saying. me, bro. Yeah. I'm like, this he doing too much. Like, you got to chill out with her. I'm but high. That, but it's different vibes, <laughs> though. It's different, I get it. Different artists, but them different vibes, vibes ain't for me. I oh, yeah, exactly. And, but, but it's yeah, a certain yeah. time and place. Everything is for a certain time and place. So, like, that time, I'd probably be playing some currency if I'm blowed in the whip. Okay. But then Period. if I'm trying to, like, if I'm trying to, like, motivate myself, and I'm walking to class, I listen to some Kendrick. If I'm about to go to the studio, I used to walk to class listen. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You said what? I used to walk to class listen to the Bible. Because yeah. I, real? nigga, yeah, bro, no, there's nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. It's saying. just because, nigga, the Bible held my memory. Nigga, I, I was a cush mm. head. You feel me? Wow. I'm, I'm blowing. Nigga, I don't remember shit we talked about. Right. But I can remember the Bible, and the Bible would just, like, open up my consciousness where, hmm. you feel me? I can, like, I pass, I ended up passing philosophy, which was, the, like, in the beginning, it was hard as hell. Mm -hmm. But throughout, you know what I'm saying? Studying, a lot of weed smoke, and a lot of Bible reading. <laughs> I actually Please. passed. Do you still smoke though? Do I still smoke? No, no. I'm not a I'm not a cush head like that. I mean, I, I yeah. hit a, hit a joint or something here and there, but right. You feel me? I ain't blowing no more. I hear all right, you. All right. I've been delivered. Amen. Y'all heard a boogie too? You said a not boogie? a boogie. Look, not, no. not oh, boogie, boogie with a hoodie. Don't, don't no, say not that. Him, not him. Don't. Just wait, regular. Wait, 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 wait. Regular Hold on. Don't say a boogie with a hoodie. Listen, 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 listen. You don't like a boogie? Here's the thing. Talent wise, yeah. Respect wise, pale puck. Nah, bro. That shit that happened with B, Lil B. Oh, that shit was jumpy, bro. But but, it, but, it, but do you know? That, you know that no, 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 no. That's Boogie, not a Boogie with the hoodie. That happened with Boogie and uh. And that was a Boogie about? with a hoodie and then. I think I think <laughs> that no, was it was Boogie, it was hoodie boogie and, uh, and Party Next Door. Cause I know, cause I fuck with Boogie. No, that wasn't Party Next Door. That was a. It wasn't uh, a Boogie. Right, what's that? It wasn't a name? Boogie. A Boogie, was, not that type of nigga. It was regular Boogie. It was just Boogie. Oh, that's all the video. No, 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 no. Uh, what's his name? Drake. Who got his ass beat? 
No, oh, Lil B. Uh, no, Lil, no, Lil B. B definitely said A Boogie, though, because I That's thought it was A Boogie. No, I get what you saying, but yeah. I think he put that out there, though, because I remember oh. niggas was saying, like, oh, I ain't fuck with that nigga no more, because oh, yeah. basically he's so cool and positive. And, yeah, he, yeah, I think he said the wrong one. Yeah, he might have said, because I, I know, because I, li I actually listened to Boogie, and then, like, Drake said something about, like, one of them because mm -hmm. cause he fuck with Lil B. But, um,. It was either Party Next Door or somebody like that. It wasn't K, Party Next Door. It's the, uh, that tall, skinny dude. I can't think of his name, though. I really can't. Wish. But he was in that, oh. y, that YFN shit. Uh, I don't know. It was Boogie. Uh, bro. No, no, we know it was Boogie, but it was two people. Yeah. The, uh, he, was was he was on the top 10. He was on the freshman top 10. I, I don't can't know think of his is. name, bro. You talking about XXL? Was it Cardi? No, not Cardi. So what happened, though? Like, what was it? I guess they like robbed his dude. They robbed this dude at a, a show or something. Yeah. So, 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 what's your reason to not fucking with A Boogie then? If that wasn't him, because it was. Look, last night Lil B was forced to cancel his set at Rolling Loud Bay Face, whatever. After he was allegedly jumped by a boogie in a hoodie, and oh, I can't remember. I can't see the other dude's name. Say, but this there's is a what video that, though. This is what that jungle do. You hear me? I love A Boogie with the hoodie. This is Listen. what that jungle do. It was for right. reason. He had two. He had two good songs. Two? What you mean? Have you heard Promise? Have you heard the new? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I don't fuck Stop. with them. Listen to them. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I ain't really went into them. Maybe oh, I got to listen to more, more let me, shit. Let me make something clear to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to do it. Come for my nigga. You're not going to come for my nigga. Now, on top of you not coming for my nigga is you're going to listen to Promise and then you're going to come back and you're going to be like, oh, T, I'm about to him. And I'm like, see, I told you, don't try to play a Brooklyn nigga ever in your life, okay? Uh, Period. I'll listen. Period. I'll listen okay? to him. Damn, Brooklyn T is in the building. okay? Brooklyn T. But that, she from High Bridge, Period. nigga. Well, I thought you were from North Carolina. Best I am, but my daddy is from Best I'm my play daddy. Uh, so, okay. Brooklyn, you know. Fuck uh, it, Harlem. Harlem 125th, fuck it. Uh, okay, uh, uh, uh. You feel me? Shout out to my Harlem nigga. Shout out to the Booyah tribe. Shout out to the Shout Ukraine. out to the Booyah tribe. You feel what I'm saying? That's real shit, though. But right. hey, hey, Boogie, though, he, he dope. I rock with him. I rock with I only him. got that one yeah, song on my phone. I rock with this too. Which one? The Promises? Nah, the first one. This is what the jungle do? That drowning song. With 3 OW. Oh, you said drowning? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dog! Oh, what this nigga said? <laughs> Bro, what did I say? No, I no, no, this nigga. Not man. you, oh. Drake. Drake said, hey, with 3 OW. <laughs> Smack my, my sister used to play that shit out. That in uh, yo, look, shout out Carmen. to shout out to Key Dog. Cause I was just about to bring up Carmen. Yeah, the hip hop story, bro. Oh, Which bro, one? you know what Beyonce? Beyonce played it in Carmen. It was I in, never seen that movie. Oh, bro, right. I, I never seen, seen like, that bullshit either. <laughs> but because <laughs> of Key, <Kier, laughs> dog, <laughs> I'm like, I come over there, she'd be watching that shit. That bitch, <laughs> that, that bitch would go off. She would restart it. Like she never seen it though, like not, <laughs> not texting or nothing. Like I'm talking eyes glued, like yeah, just um, seen it. Yeah, this is before texting came out, so she wasn't texting. She couldn't. Text. No, she had that pink sprint phone. I remember. When I, oh, the oh, movie well, did come out a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm, yeah, well, I'm okay, talking about when yeah, I seen when it with her. Seen though, it. Okay, yeah. She was definitely yeah, had that. She was watching it for years. Bro, <laughs> I'm talking no other words. <laughs> Because like, at that time, I'm talking about seventh grade, and I ain't meet you till ninth. Yeah, Damn, bro. She had y'all torturing y'all like that. Yeah. Bro, that's a no. fact. Yeah. Shout out to my baby Keto, dog. Yeah. Hey, random, but that other nigga I was trying to figure out was PNB Rock. Uh, oh, so what? Damn, PNB Rock jumping? Yeah, it's a oh. video of a boogie and PNB Rock jumping this nigga a little bit. That's funny as hell. I think Lil B like deserves it. Why? Why? Bro, I'm saying, bro, hey, boogie a real nigga, bro. He wouldn't do that shit. That nigga, that There's nigga a video. Was, I'm saying he must have he said some bullshit or something, bro. Oh, so that's what I think. Is, so it might have been him, and then Boogie got mistaken for it. Cause I remember he he did get dragged into it. So it might he just got mistaken for it. Bro, right. a Boogie would he wouldn't have just did that shit. Though. Let me tell you about that's a Boogie. What, that's what I'm saying. Like I heard I heard he was the chill nigga. So but I'm like when is. I heard that I was but like, I'm saying, damn. so what Lil B do? That's the real question. What that nigga do? What exactly? But shit, let me ask you that. What does Lil B do besides spread peace but and I'm, positivity but I'm not, and put curses on niggas that don't be? But positive. I'm not. I'm saying I'm not in the background. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna. As in Buddha. Nah, he, I mean, you know, like the, yeah, the just base a, guy curse yeah. or whatever, and then he said he, he did it to James Harden, and then Dang something man. happened to James Harden. Right. What happened to yeah. James Harden? His beard got cut off. No, nah, like nah, I just didn't win. Yeah, yeah, last year in the, and then uh, he did playoffs. it to Kevin Durant, mm -hmm. and then he, he lost. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's some bullshit. But anyways, I'm just saying, like you feel me. At the end of the day, I don't know what that nigga on in the back. You feel me? He could mm -hmm. be. That could have been behind the. You know what I'm saying? Finna go on, and he could have been like, shit. I got some meth or some shit. You feel me? <laughs> he could have said some boo. I'm saying he could have been like he could have finished. Right though, we really don't never that know oh, yeah, the whole yeah, story yeah, though. Yeah, we don't know. You know that. what I'm saying? So it's like I don't think that nigga would just <laughs> wild out and just sock the nigga in his face. I like, mean, niggas yeah. wilding nowadays, bro. Niggas yeah. is, but shit, when you bro, you chilling, you getting money, you at a show, bro, you not thinking about socking on nigga dog. Yeah, right. Unless unless nigga said some bullshit. And then I think matter of fact, I think hey, 
I think that nigga Lil B said he don't fuck with his music or some shit. <laughs> How can he talk about anybody music and he hasn't made music since God knows when? Shit, I never. He probably was, be making shit, but we just. I never was. I never was a bass fan. Yeah, I mean, except, he just, except he just, when they had the band song. Yo, does anybody listen to that boy uh, yeah. NBA Young Boy? Yeah, I, I, I love I, him. I heard a few yeah. of his like two songs. My yeah, brother, my brother. I just, you don't like him? Nah, like, I'm trying to put, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't be fucking with niggas really like that. Like, it's not that I hate. Like, I respect the craft, but it's just for my vibes and how I be feeling, the moods I be in, I don't really be, like, like, I listen to the song and I'm Are like, you a street okay. Person? I don't mean to say it like that, but. If nah, you... I mean, I'm versatile. I can listen to street shit. I can vibe to street shit, oh. but do I pick street shit to listen to off rips? Nah. Well, see, I'm from down south. And okay. I, I like him. You know what I mean? Right. He, Trap music and I can relate. Like he's talking about making plays and to get it out the mud, you know. Right, right. Louisiana is real out there, baby. You know what I'm saying? Now, what type of artist are you? Oh, we've been talking Chris. about artistry, but we got one sitting Chris, right here. go ahead, T- talk about you, me, baby. No, no, I want you to talk about. T- tell talk me about your artist. Let me tell you how diverse shit. I am. Okay, okay. 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 Not only can I rap, but I can also sing. You know oh, what I'm saying? Whoa. I can hit you with a little rapper turn melody, singer, right, and I right. can sing. I can hit you with some little Lauren Hill. But I'll be real with you. I love trap music. Okay. But I can do whatever I want to. I'm never going to box myself in. Period. Period. Well, like, course. I'm trying to get all that money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Put the money squad. Seven so, strings of income. So, so we, do, we do reggae. We do Tell country em. music. Mm. We do R&B. Jazz. We do, we do, Wait, we? Do, oh, yeah, yeah, baby. We a team. We, we a team, oh, man. Oh, oh you a... Yeah, when, oh, you, hey, look, you when recorded you see, too? When, when you see T, understand that's me. That's you did. Oh! You know what I'm saying? Say it two times. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you twice because, you know what I'm saying, I'm so nice. You I remember them saying? DG days, though. You feel me? I don't, uh, them DG that, days. I don't them know. guys. Oh, he know what I'm talking about. about. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, about, man? Me that, and Sherm. I used to... I recorded I mean, this nigga twice. Rap, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, I had bars. So nigga, you know what I'm saying? My okay. bars. In the, you know what I'm saying? Prison. I recorded that nigga twice, man. That shit was classic. Yeah, we, we did have a little couple songs, man. Back in that throwback, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. That's cool. That's cool. So, Dre, uh, you got an inspirational quote for today? I do. This comes from earlier today. We okay. were having this conversation. Uh, Where? At Planet Fitness. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Drake killed me. Yeah, come hey, on, light up, bro. We're talking. Uh, anybody? Right. Okay. <laughs> hey, no, no, don't lighten up. Don't lighten up. <laughs> like, I'm sore as hell, but I appreciate it. But yeah. real talk, if anybody need a trainer though, get that Napoleon Seven Two One. Amen. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You Facts. know he do everything, bro, from cardio, audio, boxing. You know what I'm saying? Boxing, cardio, um, audio. He eat the ass, like whatever <laughs> you want. Like, you remember know, that? For the no, girls. No, he's so much. You remember him? You remember him? But yeah, man, he you know he do it all. Though, man. I have to watch it back. It might edit it out. No, you can't. You shit. can't because we uh you know the, the <laughs> first right, amendment. Go, go on with the quote. Right. Go on with the quote. My fault. Plan B distracts from Plan A. Woo, short but simple. Man. Short but simple. I hate when people tell me to have a Plan B. Yeah, because it, it distracts from Plan A. Like how that's did, literally I, uh, how did it come how, up? How did you get that though? So like what, what what transpired? Uh, the fact that you was talking about going back. Maybe to do the air, uh, which call it the flight attendant. Well, I don't want to go back. Right, right. But you, uh, you thought about it. Yeah. And then, but you said you put it off. You, you thinking of also putting it off because of what we doing now. Right. And I'm like, okay, if you went back, it would distract from what you can really do. Cause, Possibly. Because go, going, doing a job like that has a ceiling. You can only make so mm-hmm. much. Doing yep. something like on your own, being an entrepreneur, there's no ceiling. You make stop, ceiling. stop, man. You gotta actually like let the people digest that though. When you set yourself to a, a, a like you you stigmatize to uh. a certain job, there is a ceiling on what you can do. Right, right. Mm-hmm. When it's the government line saying niggas made it to the moon, that's neither here nor there. But if they tell you the atmosphere is is reachable, why would you stop at a ceiling? All right. Mm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like the viewers, like people, just really digest that though. But keep uh. going, man. I just want the niggas to really get what you yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, like basically, the sky's the limit for me. You know, my goal is to be you know a pro boxer, pro MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. Shoot, have a the number one podcast. In yeah, will yeah, yeah, yeah. feel me? Right, uh, will. That's what you gotta say. You gotta speak it you know? to existence. Yeah, exactly. You say, you say, what else with it, bro? Clothing line. Okay. With it. Hey. okay. Amazon selling like I, I, everything. Lot, you man. feel me? Everything. Man. But school, like knowing I could go back to school, kind of was holding me back from all that shit. So I'm mm-hmm. like, you know what? I, I gotta drop out. Like otherwise, Period. otherwise I'm like, damn. You know, if I if I lose a fight, well, shit, I got school. You feel me? But if I drop out. Then it's like I gotta you make this excuse, work. Right. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of people knowing they got a safety net behind them, they they can't, don't put a hundred percent in. One hundred twenty percent. Exactly. And right. that's why people who are like that come from rough uh, neighborhoods, like they make it. Yeah, that's why they make because they, they have, have no choice. Where you say your daddy from? My dad from my play dad from Brooklyn. 
Where where from? Best Eye. Yeah. Best Eye. But they call it do or die. Best, best Eye. Eye. You dig what I'm and saying? And listen, my dead die. die. Literally, that is their mentality. That's real mm-hmm. talk, though. What? You got to play that. that. Right, right. But, but to, to piggyback off what he was saying, though, we was in the um, you know, in the locker room or whatever, mm-hmm. and it was this old dude. Like I'm telling, you, like we having a conversation as to like why we don't want to go with Plan B. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And the old dude, like, yeah, I was hearing you guys talking. You know, if y'all interested, y'all can go work on the railroads. You know what I'm saying? If anybody interested, go work at the railroads. Do that. But Why? it was just like, I mean, because he like, you know, yeah, y'all can make yeah. 150 bands. Right. You can get you some money. But that's a ceiling. But that, yeah. but it's just like, my nigga, we not, I'm not trying to work for no man. Right. Period. Yeah, and the fact that this dude was saying, he's like, yeah, sometimes you might have to work in 30, 30 negative 30 degree weather. I look at him like, like, I mean, it's, hey, shout out to the people that do, but yeah, that's press. not for Somebody me. Somebody got to do it, that's but I'm not trying for me. to, right, exactly. I'm, I'm not, trying to I'm be not my here own for boss. that, bro. I'm, I'm building my last name. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. With the with the team that I'm with, so it's you know everybody everybody eats. I feel that. But I ain't building nobody empire. You feel me? <laughs> right. Thanks. For what? I'm building my own. Exactly. Shout out to Cookie Lions. You know. Uh, but it's First Amendment, man. What it is, what it ain't, man. Do the comments you, all that for coming. Yeah, Thank man. You, Thanks for letting me come Jay. through. For Jay, real, how for can we follow you? Like, you know, hey, y'all can follow me on all social media. N e s s y t h e. R I L L A. I actually need y'all support for real. I just uh I released a video called right. Over. Y'all heard of the Trippy Red? Yes, I love right. Trippy Red. So I did a remix oh, to Over. Yeah, yeah. I did a remix to Overweight, and blessings to God. That boy yeah. got thirty seven thousand views. I boy, who's yeah. talking about that? That's yeah. something I ain't never seen before. So oh. if y'all can support that, I got the video coming out by CT Film. Shout out CT. That's coming out in like two weeks, hopefully. Okay. okay. But yeah, man, I'm grinding. I actually just dropped a new song today. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Where are y'all on SoundCloud? Where's that? Where's that? What can I hear you on? Oh, it's on SoundCloud. Okay. SoundCloud. It's called Clip. Produced by uh, Isaac and Black Mayo. Okay. But yeah, it's on SoundCloud, Nessie the Rilla. That's on everything Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Hey, 37,000, man. Let's get it up to 100K, man. 100K, Let's go. Man. We're you going hear me? for 100K to 1 All million. Right. All right. Thank you for T- uh, T baby, where, where can we follow you at? Um, you know, you can follow me at okay. that's Taryn Hendrix you know, on Instagram, Twitter. No, I don't come on Twitter, I'll be a little ratchet sometimes. Ah, man, come on Twitter, man. That's, that's the real what, team, man. What accent was that? Um it started was that off. Jocelyn Hernandez? Um, that was no. like, you know, don't Latina, uh, baby, okay. Like he's like, put it in and out. Let me Oh, yeah, is that is that girl from uh the, What you thought I was speaking patois? What's the, what's that bitch name? From uh Tyler Perry movie when she was in jail. What? So what's the that brownie bitch name. I mean, I the girl. Mean, bro, I was just no. saying, uh, you know, I was just... The one from Modern Family. No, actually, I was doing the Jocelyn. Oh, Jocelyn's. I know you talking about. Yeah. Oh, Sophia. Like, oh, body. my wife. Yeah, yeah Sophia. Yeah. She called, though. Yeah. Don't talk about my wife, thanks. Sophia. Yeah, I mean, it's K2Times. You dig know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you twice because I'm K2Times. So, you know, Instagram, Twitter, K2Times. Mm-hmm. Napoleon, let me know where you at, baby. Yeah, Napoleon721. Follow me, Instagram. And we signing out. That's it. All right. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah, ah. First Amendment. All right.